Hi all, once again I am here with another video on this channel, it is how to create a USB bootable pen drive using Xboot. This video is just for a learning how to make a Kronis Rescue Media as USB bootable. To make USB bootable, your system should update with .NET 4, in Windows 10 it is already updated. Here is the two files actually, one is ISO file and another is Xboot beta version 14. In next video we will learn how to make multi-boot USB. Right click on Xboot software and click on run as administrator, and wait till it's opening. If you are not using, run as the program may not work properly so always use run as option after right clicking. So please make sure. Just wait till Xboot console opens it may take time. A security warning will appear during execution you just need to click yes on it. The program is saying it's a unknown publisher, it's just for notifying you only about program publisher hit yes and continue. Now Xboot console opened. Do not drag an ISO file as mentioned it will drag, but you cannot drop into empty space. I tried so many times but not succeeded. The best way to select file is the manual process, always use manual procedure in such cases. Just select the ISO file and hit open. As simple as that. Without choosing the ISO option the program will not let you add the ISO file so select the proper format from the drop down menu, here I am using Akronis utility. Now clicking on drop down menu. Just scrolling and search for Akronis utility. Yes, here it is just select Akronis. Now hit add the file. Now to perform the task I am going to format the USB drive, for Akronis bootable you required only 1 GB pen drive. Make sure everything set as a default before formatting and then format. My drive is approximately 16 GB. You can change the volume label not required actually. Now the pen drive formatted, let's open the USB drive to understand it has formatted. See the USB drive now formatted and it is blank. Now select the Xboot console, and hit on create USB. After clicking you need to select the USB drive as bootable USB. Check the volume label properly and select bootloader as syslinux selected already as default. Now hit OK. To prepare the USB drive. The whole process will take up to 5 minutes depending on your hardware and read-write speed of the pen drive. I am pausing the video till its completion. It's done now. This is done and now you can check your pen drive bootable or not. So let's click on yes to run QEMU, this will run pen drive virtually. This is a good utility to check pen drive bootable or not. See how the pen drive booted in this virtual environment it's great really. Once again thanks for watching the video. Hope you liked it and understand the procedure. Please write a comment below. If you liked it please share and subscribe the channel to get latest updates on this channel.